A quick example, just a quick example. I did a poll. I went up to people in the car who were not wearing seatbelts because you catch them at the red light. Do this in the spring where it's not cold enough to close the window to have heat and not hot enough to close the window and have cooling. So in the spring and in the fall, people are driving with their windows open. I go up and I say, most of the time they just close the window real quick. But when they don't, I say, why aren't you wearing a seatbelt? I ask the driver, and the driver says things like, well, it crinkles my clothes, it, it constrains me, and I'm thinking, were you going to do like jumping jacks on the front? What, what do you mean you're constrained? You're, sit you're sitting there. All right? So they say this, and they're given all these reasons. And then I ask, have you ever had a class in physics? The answer is no. Had they taken a class in physics, they would have learned Newton's laws of motion. And Newton, one of them is things in motion tend to stay in motion unless acted on by an outside force. So if you're in the car, car's going 20 miles an hour, and the car hits a brick wall, the car stops. But you don't stop. You keep going 20 miles an hour into the windshield, and you bust your face. So now, now people say, now, who here, if you don't wear a seatbelt, who here, uh, let me ask it a different way. Um, what speed is low enough for you to think to yourself, I don't need a seatbelt at this speed? <laughs> the non-seatbelt wearers in this audience answer that question for me. Give me a speed that you're pretty sure all is fine. Give me a speed. 30 miles an hour. There you go. One, one more. 30 miles an hour. Okay? 30 miles an hour. Okay. Because that's not that fast, 30 miles an hour. So let's go back to the physics class and let's find out something. All right. Um, Olympic 100 meter sprinters, the fastest people in the world, can run 23 miles an hour. Let's round it, say 25 miles an hour. Okay? So what I want you to do. You're not going to be able to run that fast, otherwise you'd be in the Olympics. So, what's the fastest you can run? Maybe 16 miles an hour. Okay? So here's what you do. Find a brick wall somewhere, put your arms behind your back, and just run face first into the brick wall. Just do that experiment. Run as fast as you can face first into the brick wall. And then report back to me on that. You will understand the meaning of seatbelts. <laughs> Survival.